everybody, it's Castaway Girl 7, and I am coming to you with a treasure chest full of jewelry right here. And it is really cool. It's got uh, skulls and an anchor and all the studs and things that you see a treasure chest in the movies has, except this one is filled with <gasps> jewelry. Anyhow, this comes from Gwen's Vintage Kitchens, who is a seller on Whatnot, and she, sell, she sells everything from vintage kitchenwares to glassware. I, I don't even know what all she sells. She sells a lot. So go check her out. Go to Whatnot and look for Gwen's Vintage Kitchens. And she sent me this box. I told her I wanted a treasure chest full of jewelry, and let's see what she gave me. So let's open her up. Mm, it doesn't squeak. Oh, look, it even has chains on the side. How cute is that? Just like a real treasure chest. And here's some bags with pearls and oh, all kinds of stuff. Oh my goodness. And then I think, oops, come on, stay up now. Um, I think even um, there's another layer underneath. <laughs> oh my God, we may have to do this in two parts. I don't know. Uh, she even labeled some for me. This one says Sarah Coventry. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's a lot of stuff. Let's see. Okay, these are earrings. These are probably the Sarah Coventry. Or maybe not. I don't know. Oh, they're really cute. Little discs with gold and white enamel. Pretty cool. And I'm trying to see. Yep. Sarah Coventry. Very cool. I like them. And here is, maybe these are all Sarah Coventry. Maybe that's why she labeled the bag. Let's see. These are, yeah, these are marked also. And these are pearl and gold tone. And um, by the way, if you like anything you see, don't forget, you can write me at castawaygirl7 at gmail.com and I will uh, be glad to talk to you about prices. Everything will be super affordable, I can tell you that. And here's a little, uh, one of those um, snail link bracelets. I think that's what these are called. Uh, oh, it's cute. It's very lightweight and it's a silver tone. And I believe, yep, there it is, Sarah Coventry. And I like that. How do you like my bracelet, by the way? This is also, I think this is Sarah Coventry and it is Tiki faces and crabs. And it may be going on the chopping block, but right now I like it and I'm wearing it. Um, for those of you that are new, I live in Florida. My husband's legally blind. We're retired and I do this for fun and to make a little extra income. So uh, I have a, a store on, uh, on eBay called uh, Cape Castaways, and you can just type that in, and it'll say eBay store, and just click on it, and I have over 650 items, I think, at the moment. Now, this bag doesn't say anything. Oh, I just dropped something out of it. But let's see what we got. Dump it out. Oh, we have a pair of pearl, but they're lavender pearl uh, clips. They're pretty cool. That's, I like the color. It's different. Okay, and we have another pair of button pearl in the traditional color. And uh, I, is that, uh, I'm not gonna go through everything. If I, can, if I can't read it, I will have it listed on eBay. But the bottom line is uh, I don't have time. <laughs> this is like gotta be pretty quick. Now these are really cool. These are pearl button and gold braid and they, they may say something too i may stop this and read these and come back to you because there's a lot of stuff here <laughs> and these are the old traditional screw back button earrings and they may have a name on the end of the butt of the uh, screw back but they're like a white pearly also okay and these are cute. These are, oh, God, this is the earring bag, I guess. These are um, clip-ons, and they're pearls and gold tone. And 
Um, I can't really tell on that. I'll check these out and let you know at the end. How about that? Uh, okay. And these are little pearls. These are all my pearls. This is my pearl bag, I'm supposing. Um, and these are screw backs also. They're kind of cute. And, oh, let's see. Pearl. Okay. It's missing a pearl. Oh, and there it is. I can glue it in. <laughs> it's, um, that's how a treasure chest is supposed to be. The rhinestone with uh, pearl dangles, and they may have a name. I will let you know. And the pearl is here, so I can glue it back in. And here is a pair of, another pair of pearl dangles, but these are like teardrop. That's kind of different. So this is the pearl bag. Okay, and a pearl. Nothing would be complete without a pearl necklace. Wasn't that a ZZ Top song? I don't know. I'm old, so I know all that rock and stuff, so if you want to talk to me about that. There's a little vertigree in there, so I know that that means it's old, but it's also got one of those goes inside the pearl clasp. I'm not going to pull it out, but I will show you it. They're pretty colors. They, they could be real, guys. That's a beautiful color. Hmm. Okay, that's the per pearls are always in a treasure chest, aren't they? I think they are. Um, okay, let's see. Here is, and I'm not going to take these out because we're going to take a long time. These are rhinestone uh, clips. And you can see the back and you can see the front. Oh, they're cool. They got big rhinestones in the middle and okay, and little ones down the side. Okay. And let's see, uh, here's another pair of earrings. Um, nice of her to have bagged these for me. They're enamel, white enamel. And um, do they have, mm, can't tell. I'm gonna check them all out, I'm gonna let you know. Um, and here's a pair of gold button um, earrings, and they definitely say something. And if my eyes or the camera were better, we might could see what it says, but mm, okay, you will find out. And um, a lot of earrings here. Okay, gold. Oh, look, at, these are um, like a, I forget, are these huggers? Is that what they're called? I'm not sure, uh, but they're clips. Look nice. Oh, look at these rhinestone. Oh man, this is a bag full of rhinestones. I may have to open this up. I don't know. Mm, let me see. This looks like a lot of a lot of rhinestone <laughs> or what do AB crystal? I don't know. They're old. Oh, really pretty old clip earrings, and they're really look at that. Wow, really pretty. And there is another. There's two pairs in here. Okay, so that one. Oh, the other one. <laughs> I just saw it. Ah ha ha. Okay, real look at those. Those are great. Wow. Okay. Cool. And the they're definitely vintage. And these are also. And is there any writing on them? I don't know. I can't tell. It doesn't look like it. But these are AB crystals. You know, um, Aurora Borealis, where they sh shine all different colors. And look at those. Those are really pretty. Okay. And what is this last little bag on the top? Oh my goodness, look. There's an American flag pin. Hey, isn't today um, Armed Forces Day? Or tomorrow? I don't know. One of these. There's a whole bunch of loose stuff in here. Well, let me see what this is. Little, little charms or something. I don't know. We're going to open this little bag up. Hang in there with me. Okay. Okay, here's a little enamel old pin hmm don't know and it says something it says september oh for the september birthday person and there's the here's the flag and it's an enamel not a um 
there's the back of it. It's just a, one of those pin bags and it's cute. And here's a little pair, this is a little miscellaneous bag. Little tiny, um, I doubt they're ivory, you know, they're, they might be bone, they might be ivory, they're really old. Little clips, earrings, okay. And here's, um, if anybody has the, boy, these are tiny, I'm having <laughs> my hands, eh, a letter B. And it's a little pin. I wonder if it's gold, I'll have to check it out. You never know. <laughs> and here is a little, this might be sterling. This is um, little hearts. These are marcasites on this side. I know that. And that's, oh, it does have a mark. Yes. Can you all see it? Uh, 925. So this is a sterling and marcasite hearts. And my birthday is Valentine's Day, by the way, if anybody wants to send me a birthday present. <laughs> Uh, so, um, I always tend to buy hearts when I buy jewelry or wear hearts. And my husband has been good about celebrating both every year. And this is, ah, what is this? This is, I don't know what this is. This is a pin bag, but is it an, oh, I think it's supposed to be an angel. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, oh, okay. I hope everybody's enjoying this because guess what? This is the giveaway. You saw a jewelry jar that I was going to give away full of a carafe full of jewelry. And it's an iridescent carafe too. So you'll have a pretty wine carafe when you're done. But um, anyhow, please write in the comments below, I want to win. And I will take all those names and you have to subscribe too. You must be a subscriber. So subscribe to my channel and I will draw from the, draw one name. And here's a ring. And, oh, it's worn. It's not real. That darn. <laughs> I was getting excited for a second. I thought, wow, look at that. But it's all worn. But that's, that's part of finding the treasure. Now we're gonna go into level two. But before I do, let me reiterate. I have, and I'm gonna grab it a huge jar of jewelry. It's a carafe. See, it's a wine carafe. And it's iridescent, so it's really cool. And it's full of, loaded with everything from brooches to bracelets to necklaces to earrings, everything you can imagine, pins. This is loaded. It's really heavy and I can't hold it up any longer. But anyhow, I'm going to be giving it away um, to a winner, one person. So what you need to do go to the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed if you're subscribed you know then when you write in the comment I want to win you will automatically be entered but that's how we're doing it and hopefully that will work well and I'm going to go into level two level two we're going into level two. Oh my gosh um, mm, another bag let's see what's in here another bag oh my goodness I'm glad you put them in bags. It would have been all tangled if she didn't. Oh, there's some interesting looking things. And, oh, here's a giant necklace. And if I, oh, oh my, a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, dear. Another bag? I don't know. We may have to do this in two parts, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Here's a gold chain by itself, just hanging in there. Uh, I'm kind of doubting it's real. <laughs> but anyhow, a gold... Uh, gold chain. Here's a pair of pearls. A set, uh, oh, how many strands? Wow, this is cool. Uh, big ones and little ones. They're kind of light. Oh, look, they have little gold ones in between. That's kind of cool. Um, it's not real long. It's probably nine inches on the drop, maybe so 18 inches. And um, it's old, I can tell. But it's kind of lightweight, so I'm not sure if they're real or not. I have to check that out. Okay, is there anything else loose in here? Um, I'm pulling the loose stuff out. Uh, no, don't see anything. Okay. Throw all these bags back in. Let's start with the first one. Wow. Hope everybody's comfortable. Get something to drink. I might even have an intermission. <laughs> 
I think I did that on another one. I, I wanted to do it. I can't remember. Anyhow. Okay, here's a little uh, bracelet with a, oh, this is cold, whatever it is. I'm not sure. I have to have the rock identifier tell me. But it's a little, it's stretch, but it's a little, um, I guess, pendant bracelet. How about that? I don't know what else to call it. And then here's a, here's a bangle. Oh, look at those stones. Get back here. Here, come back. It's focusing on my sign in the background. Um, hmm. I wonder, I'll have to check those. Oh, that's interesting. And bangle. I'm looking around to see if I see any writing inside. I don't see anything quickly, but I will have to go over all this again because I, you know, I don't want to miss anything important. Um, oh, look at this. This is cool. It's got a safety catch. Um, I like the. It's very mid-century modern, isn't it? Wow. Oh, I like it. I like it. Am I going to trade in my... <laughs> no, um, not yet. I love my tiki faces and my crabs. I think that's really cool. But this is very cool. And I'm trying to see if it has a... I don't see anything. But then if, sometimes if you open these up, it's in the and the catch and the uh, clasp so i'll check that out i really like that here's a gold um i don't know these are like little crystal beads surrounded by gold like in a kind of like cages kind of thing and um it's sized it's so and i can't tell i'm not going to tell you sizes you can if you see something you really like write me at castawaygirl7 at gmail.com and I will talk to you about the piece that you are wanting to know about. And um, there's that. That's cute. And one more piece in this bag. Oh, look at this. What is... Mm, look at this bracelet. Wow. This is cool. Uh, hmm. Oh, it's cold. Oh, that means it's a real stone. And I love the uh, multiple strands. And are these cold too? Let's see. Mm, that one doesn't feel particularly cold. This one does. Oh, okay. Well, that's a definite checkout. And I guess, what do you think? Is that a clasp? How does that work? Huh. Oh, I see. You squeeze right here. Ah, okay. So there it is. And if it's somebody, I don't don't know. Um, don't see anything. But that's really cool. Okay. Bag, next bag. Mmm. Here, here's what it looks like. Oh, look at those. <laughs> I used to have a pair of that. I think I did in one of my $5 bags that looked like that. Oh my goodness, there's so much stuff in here. Oh, these are cute. Uh, you know, living in Florida, I'm always looking at stuff like this. I don't really wear earrings that much anymore, but these are just little costume uh, starfish earrings. Really cute. Really cute. Clips. Okay. And these are enamel clips. These are pretty. And I don't see anything let's see if we open it up if there's anything inside I don't see anything but they're cute they're very cute there's a pair of oh, these this, this is an earring bag I can tell you that I'm looking down this is just a red enamel uh, little hoops okay and these are just buttons, but they're kind of, they're not, it's, they're not real, they're acrylic, but they're kind of cute colors. And um, I don't really see anything, but that's, uh, that's cute. Oh, look what else I got for me, Florida. <laughs> seashell earrings. Oh, how cute. So I have starfish and seashells. Does anybody like anything like that? You know, um, I don't wear earrings but I like them a lot. Okay, and then we got another pair of, oh, look at these, these are cool. 
these are like domed see how they go up and I don't know how you would describe them but um, I'm looking to see if there are anybody I don't know I'll have to check it out but I really like the style it's cute okay and oh what are these oh these are pretty oh let's see are they Chris they're Christmas they're oh wow these are they're pierced and there's the back and they're uh, holly with a big red stone and I think it's I'm feeling it it's not cold so it's a, probably acrylic but they're really cute for the holidays a little dressy dressy things and um, here's a pair of brown they look like almost look like cat's eye but I don't mm, I don't think they are screwbacks okay I'm trying to go a little faster here's just two metal discs gray they look like I don't know what they look like they have little pads somebody put pads on them to protect their ears um, and here's a pair of metal black hammered kind of cute if you need a pair of black earrings for your outfit and here is I don't know what this is oh okay these are leaves and they're silver and gold I'm gonna have to look at these up close in a little while and check them out after we're done viewing and they have little pads in them once again somebody was protecting their ear i used to do that once in a while um these are blue and these are um button and the blue backs that's interesting hmm okay gotta hurry this along oh oh look at these the ones that we saw there were hoops look at them oh wow <laughs> oh i love them they're cool they are very cool and uh and they're lightweight guys so they wouldn't be um dragging your ear down oh i, I love them they're cool very cool okay and we're getting down to the end of this bag these are cute these are little enamel dangles they're red and gold tone and i don't see anything on the back and so far this has been a pretty cool treasure chest and i have to check a lot of stuff out last pair of earrings in this bag are a little silver uh filigree with a ball hmm cute and they're screw backs see and that's the end of the earring bag okay this is the next bag take a peek see what you see do you see anything oh interesting stuff looks like okay let's dump it out okay first thing oh i think these might be i don't know this is a mixture of stuff this is a brooch oh it's got something in there mm. it's white enamel i guess very interesting that's different it's kind of kind of big and i don't can't make it out. Mm. I've seen since I was a child, and I don't think I ever had one, but uh, this is a, a sweater clip, I guess. Isn't that what this is? It's got like these clips, alligator clips, and chain to hold your sweater together over, over your shoulders. Oh my, now that's vintage. Um, so be in Gwen's Vintage Kitchen. Okay, look at this. I'm getting all kinds of things. This is a keychain with a cowboy boot and some beads hanging from it. That's interesting, something different. Wow, okay, that's nice. And I don't, I don't know, I've been looking at this and I'm trying to figure out what it is. It's a chain. I don't know. Does that, oh, look at that. Um, I don't know. And here's another brooch. And it looks like it's gold tone. And, oh. and here's another, I guess, sweater clip with pearls. 
except this one's broken. This side doesn't have the alligator clip and this side does. So they're, they're nice for craft lots. I might see if somebody's interested in crafting. Oh, wow. Look at this keychain. All right, just for me. You see what it is? It's an alligator. And it says Florida. <laughs> he, his mouth is open. He's going to get me. Oh, my God. I haven't seen any since I've been living here, but I know they're here. Okay, that was the end of that. That was like a miscellaneous bag or something. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, I just hit my camera. That wasn't good. Let's see what's in this bag. Okay, we have a blue. I like this clasp. Look at this clasp. Or is that... Actually, that's not a clasp. That is a the bottom of the necklace, I think. That's like a pendant. It's like a cage. And it's brass. It's pretty weird. With some blue beads. And... Um, I don't know what they're not cold so I don't know what they are but it's kind of long that's cool very pretty color mm, what is this Ugh. all right silver tone double oh it's rings and they're all connected and there's the top of it it's got a lobster claw clasp and a extender so you can make it longer but it's just a bunch of silver links together. Yeah, looks like it might be about, I don't know, maybe 18 inches or something. And here's some stuff in bags. Look, I wonder if that means they're special. <laughs> I don't know. We're going to see. This is just a little tiny gold chain with a little tiny, I wonder if it's a diamond. Hmm, it's gold. Doesn't have the right kind of clasp though. Usually, hmm, usually you get one of those ones with the little flat part that says 14K on it or something. But I will examine it and I will tell one. I'm going to open it and we'll see what's blue. You're seeing them with me for the first time. I have not seen these. So this is all new to me, and this is really interesting. Oh, wow, that's pretty. It's a silver tone, I guess, or it might, I don't know. I'll have to check it out. It's really pretty. It's really shiny, so I don't know. It might be. Blue beads with a flower and blue stations of beads. Pretty. And one more piece from this bag. We're actually getting there. It's going to be, uh, I'll have to, this is, wow, what is this? Um, hmm, a tangled necklace. I'm not going to untangle it. Oh, how do you like my ring, too, by the way? Hmm, I thought that was pretty cool. It's not real, but it looks like it. Rock identifier on it. Um, but I thought it was really neat. So before it goes on the chopping block, I'm wearing it. <laughs> and here's, I think I have two more bags to go. So maybe, maybe we can do the whole thing in one. Well, here's a puka shell necklace or whatever you call these. You know, the shell necklaces, these are always popular. And usually they have a barrel, yeah, barrel clasp. Okay, that's nice. They're like the surfer type things. And um, next is oh, gold look at the, the clasp oh this might be somebody i don't know let's see i can't tell very oh it's it's actually put on wrong it's supposed to be this is supposed to be on the side with this ah well anyhow we'll address that later <laughs> it looks like a triple strand that's cool. Look at that. That's enamel and gold tone. And it's a very uh, Picasso-ish, <laughs> I guess, uh, necklace. Let's see if it says anything. No, nothing on the back, but that's really cool. I like that a lot. That's neat. And here is, oh, here, here, here's a real thin little necklace and it has a price tag on it of $10. So I'm guessing it's not gold. <laughs> um, Bumped it again. See, ten dollars. 
and it's a little tiny. See how they hook, hook together? Oh, and it's got a lobster clasp. That's cute, it's very dainty, very dainty. Somebody likes the dainty, daintier rather than the big, uh, ball, uh, chunky things, you know, like the one I'm gonna pull out next. Oh, actually, hmm. Oh, okay, like I said, if you like dainty, that was it. And if you like chunky, this is it. Wow, this is cool, very cool. Hmm. Not really cold, so I don't think we have, but it's really neat. And, um, wow. There it is. And it's on a thick gold chain with a lobster claw. And there's one more little thing in here in this bag. And then I think we just have one more bag. And this is a little gold, um, Something gold, <laughs> gold tone, I'm sure, not gold. <laughs> I don't think I paid enough for this box to be gold. <laughs> so what is this? What is this? What do you think, what do you think that is? Oh, maybe it goes this way and that was the back. I have don't have a clue. It is a chain, a gold chain. I don't know. <laughs> Your guess, and it's tangled, and I'm not going to sit here and try to untangle it, but anyhow. Okay. Cool. Very good. Okay, we're at the end. End of the box. This is the last bag. You're probably all ready to run and scream at this point. <laughs> Enough jewelry, okay. This is interesting. This is a pendant on a, like one of those suede type ropes. I just knocked it again. My, I'm not used to my new um, uh, tripod. That is really pretty. That's how it's supposed to look. That was, the other was the backside. That's mother of pearl. And that's the backside. Wow. Very pretty. I don't know if it's silver. I'll have to check it out. It's not very long. It's just barely... Oh, look at this. Oh, it's a pendant. I'll have to check that out on the rock identifier because... Oh, look at the back of that. Wow, that's cool. That's very vintage. Hmm. Pretty. It has pearls around it. I'll have to find out what that stone is. Okay. And this is, I guess, um, this is a necklace. And look at this. Hmm. I wonder if this is anybody. Let me see. can't tell, but it's really neat. It's a little bit bigger than a choker. And here is another pendant. Pretty. On a gold tone chain with a little pearly bead at the end. And this is the back. 1928 maybe I don't know I'm not sure um, and here is another gold chain this is interesting look I don't know what these links are called does anyone know what these I don't know my links my chain links that well so um, does anyone know what these are called it's pr very pretty it's a um, gold tone Picturing if it was gold, it would be like, my God, it'd be thousands of dollars. <laughs> but there's the, the um, spring clasp. And it's pretty long. It's a 
probably 20 inches or something. No, 20 inches long, not, and probably, <laughs> oh, oh, here's another one, wow. Hey, look at this, now what is this, th this link? Oh, I've never seen this, it's like squares. But it's not a box chain, or maybe it's a type of box chain. I don't know. Very long, and oh, here is a. Oh, who is this? This is K. Hmm, I'm gonna have to Google that one. Does anybody know who that is? It's a big K. And there might be letters on either side. Let me see if there's anything on the other side. Oh, maybe it's Anne Klein? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, let's see, what's over here? It's the K again. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to check Google Lens the um, that uh, hang tag. But it's very long and it's very shiny. It's, I mean, it's real shiny. Very pretty, very good condition. I like that a lot. And the last piece is a wooden necklace and with a lobster claw clasp. And it's just wooden beads with a metal ball that's kind of brutalist style, but not really, um, kind of. And um, not real long, but very, very different very different. So guys, this is the end of the treasure chest. And what'd you think? Tell me in the comments. And also, don't forget to write, I want to win. Because tomorrow, well, tomorrow, yes, the day after this runs, I will go through and find all the subscribers that said I want to win. And we will draw a name out of the box and um, see who is the winner of the, one more time, the jewelry jar, or the jewelry, as I call it, the jewelry carafe. You know, it's a little bit different than a jewelry jar, and it's usable if you empty it out. <laughs> so, all that is what I'm going to show you for today. And don't forget to check my... Um, eBay store, Cape Castaways, plural. If you just type that in, it'll say store, and you just click on it, and you'll come in, and you'll see pink flamingos in my homepage, and just go from there. And thanks for watching, and it's been a long one, so I'm going to try to give you some information on some of this stuff. And we'll see you all later on the next one. And who knows what that'll be, because I don't. <laughs> Bye-bye, everybody. Take care.